Hello, my friends. We are here at Dorney Park for their opening day. The water park, Wild Water Kingdom, is not open. That opens Memorial Weekend. But right now, it's just the dry park that's opening. And I noticed behind me, the carousel is now 100 years old. How about that? That's awesome. And you know what else is celebrating a birthday? It's Talon. And it is celebrating its 20th birthday. So we're gonna go celebrate by hitching a quick ride. The crowd is pretty low here today and that's probably because they're waiting for the water park to open. So let's get this started. Just wanted to share with you the nice little signage that they got going all around the carousel here for its 100th anniversary. I wonder if they've made merch or something like that, but it looks like it got a fresh, fresh, fresh coat of paint here which is pretty cool and I never noticed I'm gonna walk over to the other side real quick and show you something I never noticed so back there they actually are playing the music through one of these things not I don't know if it's a Wurlitzer or whatever what it's called when it's not a Wurlitzer but I never realized before that they had something like this oh yeah it does have a Wurlitzer sign on it it's just hard to notice with uh, all the horses going by there's no other way to get a clear shot of it the one thing I find odd is that they have that Wurlitzer going and it sounds amazing, but up against all of those posts where I showed you those signs are, they have like speakers with regular music coming out and I don't know why they're, they're exactly doing that because if they just let the uh, carousel carry the, uh, the intro music, the uh, welcoming music for the park, it would be that much more effective. But anyway, let's uh, head on over to Talon. So we're here in front of Talon. I cannot believe that this coaster is now 20 years old. That's wild. But yeah, this is a really good uh, inverted coaster. Highly recommend it. Probably in the top three for this park, I would consider it, uh, between Hydra, Steel Force, and Talon. So I just got off of Talon to celebrate its 20th anniversary, and wow. Uh, it was so smooth. Uh, one thing I want to put here, if you guys are planning on coming here for backpacks and stuff, they do have a spot up at the station in which they have two for one for each train and then they kind of slide over a thing so that riders from the other train can't get to your stuff, which is nice. But oh my gosh, it was running super smooth. The uh, lift hill sounds way different after listening to Batman the Ride go for all this time. Yeah, it sounded way different. It was much smoother. It was surprising maybe they, they must have done a lot of uh maintenance on this recently uh so much so that to prove a point here about how confused i was about how smooth it was running i ended up buying the digital picture and i will put that up for you right now i don't know what kind of resolution we're dealing with here but my face is just confusion after coming out of that the, where the photo is taken it's like coming out of that half loop and turning around and then coming out of the helix so like into like the second half of the ride and just kind of being real confused about how great it's running. Uh, it's, I'm not saying that it was running horribly before, but it was just so good that I don't remember it being quite this remarkable right now. So wow, Talon just kind of climbed a little bit in my personal rankings there. Really glad I, uh, I caught this at this time. You know what? I'm gonna just ride it again. I'll be right back. <laughs> So the second ride was just as good as the first one. I should have mentioned that I was in the second row on the first ride. And then I tried to get somewhere towards the back. I think I was third from last on the second ride and it was still just as good. I am thoroughly impressed definitely when I come back uh, to Dorney Park later this season. That's gonna be one of my first stops. I think now we're gonna start heading over to Hydra but I also, somewhere in between, I wanna see if they have any new merch for anything because I've seen that a lot of the Cedar Fair parks have squish mallows. And I know that the Dorney Park is one of the few that does not have an online store right now. I'm passing by Wild Mouse. I didn't realize I picked such a lousy spot for it. But I just wanted a PSA real quick. This is at a 40 minute wait right now. The capacity is complete, but... So if you're coming here for the credits, get on this really early because otherwise you're gonna end up waiting an unnecessary amount of time for a clone. So as I suspected, right as I went into good time gifts, we have a full wall of Talon merchandise for its 20th, including a mana coaster, which I believe is new and which I believe I am picking up. So there's that. And then I don't know if a lot of it has like the 20th anniversary on it, but there's a whole lot. I'm surprised there's no plush. Didn't they used to have a plush of this? 
but yeah, it's here if you want it. So I got myself some merch. I also noticed they brought back a very old school character called Alfundo. And I remember it's like fun, Allentown, like a combination of stuff like that. And apparently there was a sign out front that said that he was meeting and greeting and doing a dance party of some kind. So maybe at some point, once we're done with some coasters, we'll go check that out. But for now, there, but for now I think I need to find something to eat. So I just had myself a patty melt from this food truck that's behind me. Apparently there's some sort of touring food truck thing happening at all the Cedar Fair parks called Midway Eats. Patty melt was pretty good. They also had some sort of uh, chicken finger basket and then some sort of potato basket thing. But apparently if you go on their website, you'll see that the items will change. I'm kind of bummed that they had a blue ice cream on their logo because I could have really gone for that right now. I know that's kind of a staple out in like Kings Island and stuff like that. But anyway, check that out if you're so interested. I wonder if I'll catch this at some point during the season at a different Cedar Fair. That would be funny. But we're gonna keep making our way over to Hydra. So we just made it here to Hydra, the revenge. And uh, I believe this was posted at a half hour wait. So we're gonna get on, experience the Jojo roll, and I will be right back. So I'm finally just wrapping up with Hydra. It felt like a very long time I was in line. I think it was closer to an hour, maybe like 15 minutes. Uh, posted wait time was a half hour. Unfortunately, the dispatch times were kind of slow, but the coaster itself was running great. The Jojo Roll, uh, if you guys don't know, it's that uh, inversion that happens right after you leave the station. It's very unique to this park, to this coaster. I don't know how many other coasters actually do an inversion right after you leave the station before getting to the lift hill. But at any rate, it's running great. Not as notoriously smooth as uh, Talon was, but that one, it felt like brand new or something. Hydra's still a lot of fun. And now it's time to head on down this hill here to Steel Force and maybe Thunderhawk. As I was walking down the hill here, I noticed that there's a sign for a dueling piano show. It's called The Uprights. It looks really cool, especially with these couches looks super cozy. I think the wait times, or I'm sorry, the show times are over to the side there on that sign. But yeah, just wanted to make note of it and tell you that it was here. Just walking by it there, I walked by the sign. They performed six times today. Not bad, almost uh, every hour from 12 to six, basically. Which is impressive, that's nice. Uh, I already saw there, there was old people lining up right there to catch it. Um, I'm, where am I going? I'm supposed to go this way. Whoops. Uh, and I'm coming up on Steel Force here. Uh, it's a good one. It's a classic. I think it's 30 plus years old now, right? I'm passing here, well, by a speaker, so I'm talking loudly, but also by Thunderhawk here, but it has a posted wait time of 40 minutes. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get on that one today. I can always come back, you know? So I'm gonna go on, uh, on Steel Force. And uh, I see Possessed has like little to no weight. I always enjoy this walkway here. So the coaster goes by right there, but then eventually it's gonna come right down this way. If we wait a little bit. Yeah, here it comes. That's one reason I love this walkway, because you go through all the supports and all that stuff, and then the roller coaster just kind of goes around you. Just made it here to Steel Force, and posted wait time is 40 minutes, and hopefully that is true, unlike at Hydra, where it turned out to be more like an hour. All right, just got done with Steel Force. It was closer to 45 minutes this time, which was better. They were doing better than Hydra in terms of dispatch times, that's for sure. Uh, although it is just a sit-down coaster, so and the restraints are super simple, so. There shouldn't be any real reason to slow that down, although opening weekend, it will will improve as the season goes along. Uh, one thing to note is, yes, there are cubbies to put your stuff on in uh, the station up there, so you don't have to worry about putting your backpack in a locker or anything. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but that same goes for Hydra. But the ride was really good. The ride was just as it, I remember it being. Mainly um, a little a little rattly, a little rickety, showing it's some age but not in a bad way. And that first drop into the tunnel is still the best part. So I'm sitting here in front of Possessed, which I thought, or was it rumored to be removed? 
or are people just lying? I don't know, but there it goes. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy this ride. It looks like it's got a little bit of a wait though, because the line is stretching out almost to the end of the queue. Uh, but they are socially distant, so... I remember when this area had Stinger before that got removed, and it got me wondering, like, so that means that the newest coaster here, is that Hydra, or is that Possess? Even if it is, Possess is just like a little thing, kind of like Wicked Twister is over at Cedar Point. So if that means Hydra's the last, like, big attraction that this park has got, that's like 15 years ago or so? So would that mean that maybe it's time for Cedar Fair to show this park some love and give it, like, a nice big coaster? Because I gotta be wondering if that's in the cards right now. Um, can't say for sure, but blue sky ideas, like what, what kind of roller coaster or major ride, even if it's a flat ride, I guess, but I think we want to see like another coaster in this park, a new one. What would you like to see? What kind of model? I was thinking so they need like another family style coaster, maybe like a, a gravity group or something like that, that type of coaster. But that's just me off the cuff. I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments what kind of coaster do you think Thorny Park could use? This sign caught my eye. They have kind of some of the entertainment that they're having here. The uprights, basically all season. Coastal currents at Wildwater Cove, is that? I don't know what that is. But then there's the uh, character meet and greets at the Peanuts Show Place. And then down here at the bottom, it looks like they're gonna try to bring back the Grand Carnival in late July. That was a lot of fun when I did it back in 2019. Unfortunately, it was canceled in 2020. It'll be nice to see this come back. It was very colorful and a lot of fun. All right, having a quick little seat here, I realized that a lot of the shots that I've had because of the lighting haven't been the best because I'm, I wanna be in the shade. And that's because it's like 90 degrees today. Thank goodness we got a lot of cloud cover, but yeah, it's been, whew, it's been a brutal day. But I wanted to mention one thing I might not have mentioned in the beginning is that while there was like Alfundo merch, there is a meet and greetable character which I will put up right now. Whew. It was quite silly, quite fun, but I'll remind you again, it's 90 degrees. Whew. Melting, melting today. I'll also make mention of some of the awesome flat rides that they have here. And they do have a flyers, so if you're into um, snapping, you can do that down there. I don't know how the ride operators will respond to that, but that's a thing. Uh, they do have the whip. They have uh, Enterprise, which is going on behind me. They have all sorts of old school rides that I didn't highlight today that were worth mentioning. Definitely on the website you can check out what their collection is, but it is a nice collection. So Alfundo, welcome back. It's been almost 30 years since you've been here at the park. And so I was wondering where you might have been. So I, I put a little poll out there and I wanted to share with you some of the responses I got of where Alfondo must might have been in the last 30 years. He's been hiding out with Alicia Silverstone. He left to become a thespian and perform at the Globe Theater. He tried to open a chain of Alfondo restaurants in the Philippines. And the last one is my favorite response. He joined the Avengers and he's just on a break this summer. <laughs> but anyway, wherever you have been, it's awesome to see you again, and I hope to see you some more. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me here opening day at Dorney Park. I'll definitely be back for the Grand Carnival, and for sure, the Halloween Haunt is back this year. I'll definitely be here, and hopefully uh, I can have somewhere to go whenever we need to mix it up between the other Halloween events that I plan on going to this year. It'll be really nice to have Halloween Haunt back because it really is a good event. But anyway, for now guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.